Good morning, you guys. Today starts off all of the wedding festivities that we've been literally looking forward to for weeks. But before we get into what we're actually doing and the different ceremonies that are involved in the wedding, I need to tell you about how this happened. So we were talking to this guy named Chaitanya on Instagram. If you guys follow us on Instagram, you would see that we always respond. We respond literally to every single DM. And so anyway, this really lovely gentleman who's been following ourselves for a little while sent us a message and goes like, hey, you're invited to my sister's wedding. And Danny and I looked at each other and we're like, does it look like someone who's gonna kidnap us? Thankfully, he was really, really lovely, but he invited us to his sister's wedding. So we met him in Kolkata, which you guys may have already seen those videos. But now, today, it's the Mahendi ceremony. And so we are actually about to go get checked into our hotel, but we kind of have to check in and meet everyone at the same time. So thankfully, we've condensed all of our stuff down into like three large handfuls, that's about it. But time to see where the Uber is, and we'll see you guys in the Uber. All right, so uh, I guess our Uber canceled, but these great guys that were just kind of hanging around, we're like, hey, we'll take you for a good price, and we asked the price, and it was good. So we are gonna go with them now in a tuk-tuk. Yay! All right, but we gotta take all the stuff. All right. right here, here. I'll grab that. Also, you video in YouTube. Do you really? What's yes. your channel? Greatest tuk tuk service in Jaipur. Really? Get yes. out. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, good to know. You should send us a DM. Yeah, you will. You will search because yes. I I never been in school. I don't know how to read, how to write. I'm an educated person. Okay. So the the way I'm not going to school and I don't know to read and write, but just I speaking and listen. That's it. Because gotcha, I will. That's good. I learn from the different tourists that comes from and they will go for me to go around of the cities and all those things so that's why yeah, I can understand do. them and they can understand me. Great job though. Nice. Thank you baby. Right, you um, Annette it? or Daniel Fortner, we didn't book it personally. Yeah, we... The wedding group? Yes. Nope. Thank you my friend. Thank you. It was great talking to you. You were very sweet. You are very nice man. So we've made it to the hotel and it's called the Jay Mahal Palace and it looks like a palace. It's like this enormous ground. There are these giant gardens and the building is just so pretty. Yeah. So let's go find our friends. Daniel is the perfect gentleman in case anybody was wondering. I'm the princess. Hello. Namaste. Here, I can get, I can get one. Are you sure? Uh -huh. Thank you. Don't you have Donya Bahad. Alright, let's get checked in. I guess we looked like we needed help. <laughs> <sighs> so we came in and immediately got lost because the place is huge on the inside. And already we've checked in. They've asked us what our names are and who our friends are. And now they've told us to sit in this really pretty waiting area to see where our room is. Okay, so wow. we're getting, yeah, wow is right. We're getting checked in. They were super nice. They're like, have you eaten this morning? And we're like, no, but we were gonna wait. And she's like, no, 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 go down there, take a left, go grab some breakfast. And so we we're just like, yes, we're gonna grab breakfast. Yeah. Hello, Hello. is this where we grab breakfast? Yes, sir. Okay. Do we do we follow you or sit? Uh, you're with the wedding group? Yes. Uh, because we are uh, just close. We're almost close. Yes, and they told us to yeah, run yeah. over here. Yes. <laughs> we'll make it quick. <laughs> So we have just finished eating breakfast at the Jai Mahal Palace and guys this place is unbelievable. A, we ran here because we didn't realize that breakfast was going to be free and the moment when you got in here that they were going to just have it all available. So anyway, we ran. The lady at the reception desk was so sweet. They offered to watch our bags. They're like, go get coffee or a tea. Hurry. It's about to close. So we got here and went ham. Like we got two or three plates and just stuffed it with as much stuff as we possibly wanted to try. But the selection was so enormous, I think that we maybe tried less than a third of the buffet. They've also given us free coffee, which is real grounds and delicious. And while we were eating breakfast, they took care of everything. They took our bags to the hotel room, they scanned our passports, did all of that check-in process for us while we were eating, and then brought us 
the key card, which apparently the key card is also the wedding's itinerary. So when you open it up, you can see literally all of the different events, at what time they're happening, how to transfer to them. And this is our really nice Fuji key. I am so excited. Shai Tanya, if you're watching this, I want you to know that Danielle and I are so humbled and grateful that you wanted to have us at your sister's wedding. We are thrilled to be here and to share this with your family. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. Look at the bathroom, it's got a little window wall. What is, I need to like pinch myself? <laughs> pull, need to like pull a beard hair? Like, is this real life? Huh. Well, welcome to our room for the next two nights. Oh my God, this place is beautiful. Hey Daniel, they're gonna come in with some goodies. Yeah. So I yeah. guess they're coming in with some of the wedding goodies. We just asked if they could place them to a room. Everybody here has been so sweet and hospitable. Like I mentioned to you at breakfast, they took care of everything for us and have just been the loveliest human beings. Thank you, Welcome. Thank you. Welcome. All right, so while they're getting that set up, let's show you guys the view outside. Look at it. So we kind of had to take a second and just look at each other and be like, what is happening right now? But since Annette's the one who chose to just plop on the floor, <laughs> I'm gonna have her explain it. <laughs> when they came in to bring in the goodies, A, if you guys know anything about us, you know that we meet everybody. Anybody who messages us on Instagram, we're always like, yeah, sure, let's meet up. So when we got invited to this wedding, I thought we were gonna be staying at like someone's house. Like this was gonna be, you know, someone doing henna in their living room. Like I just thought it was gonna be something really intimate. And we get here and I promise we do nice things for ourselves sometimes. But usually if you guys watch the vlog, we're staying in hostels or, you know, taking trains and, you know, doing budget travel. And so to be staying in a palace where the breakfast this morning was like a five star restaurant and look at the goodies that they gave us. Hold on, I'm, it's a little heavy. Ah, I'm dropping everything. They gave us like a goodie basket of all of their favorite things. And all I did was buy them a rose oil from Pushkar because I had no idea. Thank you guys so much. I'm still pinching myself. I can't believe this is real life. We're staying in a palace. I cannot believe this place. I wanna move here. Oh, here's this wonderful bathroom, not a regular grungy hostel bathroom like we're used to. Look at this bathtub. I can stare at the gardens and at the city while in the shower. Came with tons of, an, of amenities like body lotion and soaps and shaving kits and all sorts of stuff. And if you close this space, it came with really nice robes. And if you're not feeling a bath, which uh, Daniel and I are definitely taking tonight, you can have a shower in the marble shower with tile and a rainfall shower. And whatever, oh, I see, I'm with you, okay. I was like, what the heck is this pool? Is this like a magic wand? Did the, did the room come with a genie as well? Okay, I definitely feel like Princess Jasmine. I'm just saying, I have my Aladdin, I live in a palace, this is great. That's it, I'm moving to India. Oh my God, I could hide in this closet. This is the, what our rooms usually look like. I can do a happy dance, this is great. Okay, last thing, last thing, I just couldn't help it. I am so happy. We're opening the goodie bag because it feels like Christmas. It's not, it's almost Christmas actually. Oh yeah, pretty close. But it feels like <laughs> Christmas. All right, 
I put one finger, you put the other finger, one, and we stab. Two, three. three. Oh no! Mine didn't quite work. No. This is how Daniel and I open joint Christmas gifts together, by the way. We both like the process of unwrapping, and so we literally unwrap at the same time. It's almost the best part. It is! These things are so nice. They're like. I think we're getting summoned. I'm so sorry. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, you can just set it where, wherever is perfect. Yeah. The sewing kit? Uh, the what? The sewing kit, yes. Oh, thank you so much. And, and then, I have a question. Um, we have things to steam. Do we give that to you or do we give it to somebody else? Pardon? I have my lenga and the kurta pajama that we need steamed. I need to steam it. Give me. Amazing. Ah, okay. Thank you so much. Let me see. He knocked on the door to bring us the sewing kit that I had originally asked for because I have one of my things that's broken. And then he was like, oh, do you need anything steamed? Yeah, just like all of the things. And he's like, okay, no worries. Take, he took everything, the lenga, the duparta, Daniel's suit, the kurta, the pajama, all of the things that we needed iron for this weekend. Is gonna take it to the abyss. And then once, we're, once we leave, they'll have it all done and put it in our closet. I feel like the Indian princess I've been trying to look like this whole time. <laughs> okay, well, that kind of got in the middle of our uh, opening of the goodies, so. All right, so sorry, let's try this one more time. So the snackies, we've already opened the package. Let's pretend like we didn't open this. Ready, one, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it came with unlabeled boxes. So I guess we're just gonna have to open presents. Like we open the main present and then we get to open all the little presents. And it's like hand wrapped with beautiful. What is this even called? Right? Ribbon. Ribbon? I'm actually gonna keep the ribbon. I love ribbon and it's such a soft ribbon. What is that? It's like Snickers and stuff. Uh oh. <laughs> okay, I really like the, the packaging of the tin thing, to be honest. I'm like a floral pattern person. What is this? Oh, don't just touch. Why? You don't know if it's nuts or not. It doesn't look like nuts. It looks like. This woman is definitely allergic to nuts and she'll be like, Nyan. That is barbecued like popcorn. Is it really? Ooh. Yes. Hey, stop spilling it on yourself. <laughs> All right, Daniel, taste this. Does this have nuts? Are you really trying to get into stuff? I don't need your judgment right now. They have masala munchies. It's a soya sticks. Oh my goodness. You are opening way more than I am. I have made it through three. Well, I've made it through four now. Okay, well, I guess I'm so opening then, the next one. Taste it. So then we're even. No. It smells like butter. Tastes like butter? Mm-hmm. Those taste All like right, these two are yours. I pointed at them. So Daniel and I are actually really funny about fairness. So, fun fact, if Daniel and I go to a restaurant, which we do every single night, every night here is a date night, and I order a garlic naan, and Daniel orders a cheese naan that I shouldn't be eating because you know I'm lactose intolerant, but I do anyway because I'm stubborn. What? If I give him a piece of my garlic naan, it is 100% expected for it's a mandatory. similar size piece of cheese naan to make it onto my plate. Also, and this is These like- These are like unspoken rules of the relationship. Yeah. Well, I guess we're speaking about them now. But yeah. it's true, like we get kind of funny about it. We are like the sweetest, like lovable people to each other. But I will stab you if you touch my food. Yeah, we're funny about food, y'all. <laughs> Don't play with the food. If you get a bite out of my food, expect me to get a bite out of your food. That's just yeah, right? the rule. Oh, are you gonna keep blabbing or are you gonna open the other ones that you were complaining about? Hey! <laughs> just a little more. Calm the day, okay? Calm the day. Ooh, I like the jars that these come in. Ooh. Okay, so this came with like a little viewfinder of um, knickknacks here. Oh, they do have a little viewfinder. Oh, broke it, I think. This Not is just so nice. nicely packaged that I don't want to mess it up. Oh, found a new jar for your hair gel to go in. This is dry pan mukwas. Wait, pan, I had pan. It's like that funky bread, remember? The one that you didn't like? You're talking about pan? Actually, you know who made it, so this is pan, and pan is a leaf that was really good for digestion, and actually, if you watched, did we vlog that night? I don't know what you're talking about. No, we didn't. If you have watched our Instagram so stories- So you don't eat this. You do. Smell that. That don't smell like something you eat. No, that smells like cardamom. Let me smell. Let me see, sorry. 
Milky Supart. Yeah, that's edible. I don't know. It smells like perfume, but yeah, it's edible. We went out with the people who invited us to the wedding, so Chaitanya and Supriya, and they showed us through a bunch of areas in Kolkata. We met them literally on like the first or second night that we were there, and they had us tripod. Daniel wasn't a fan, and it does taste a little strange. Actually, I think I said something on the line, along the lines of, I think you're supposed to eat it. That's very fresh. But you can see what I wrote here. I don't think it's Why? It doesn't taste right. It doesn't taste right. I think it is edible, baby. Milk, su Milky Supari. Do you eat Milky Supari? What would you use it for? It doesn't taste right. <laughs> Watch it have been like perfume. It's gonna go spit it out. We're really grateful. We just don't, our, our taste buds are just not as developed as Indian taste buds. You guys have like 70,000 seasonings. No, that's the thing. I don't think it's meant to be eaten. Daniel, I really legitimately believe it's meant to be eaten. That tastes like something that could should be sitting in the corner like with smoke coming off the... Oh, like an incense? Okay, easy. We're gonna Google this. So guys, thank you so much for joining us as we checked into the Jaina Hall Palace. We are set to be leaving for the Mahendi ceremony in just a few minutes. So make sure that you give this video a thumbs up, especially if that thing was edible, which I think it is, that milky sapari. Make sure that you comment in case we said anything wrong in this video and subscribe so that you can see the adventures in the Mahendi ceremony. And in the meantime, I'm gonna make a home in my new bathtub for the next two days.